Peter. It hath begun. F. Yes, it hath. So, interesting phenomenon. This is a, a rematch between Cool and Elric. Cool defeated Elric the first time. He is likely to do so again tonight, though nothing is certain. Uh, but whomever goes on to face Galkaif uh, in the final after this match will actually have to face Galkaif twice Indeed. if Galkaif wins that match. Indeed, you're absolutely right. Double elimination tournament means that we're, tonight we determine the winner of the loser's bracket, the loser's bracket champion, and uh, they're going to go in with one loss to their record uh, to Galkaif's no losses, and they are going to have to beat him back-to-back -back for, for Yield runback. Jammy Antics, wiener is ready. Is your wiener ready? Jimmy Antics saying hello trip. from Wiener Heaven. <laughs> I, I hear him. It's true. Wiener Heaven is real. I hear him from beyond the pale of the Wiener Heaven. So Elric picks up his uh, unnecessary pale. health upgrade I want to clarify. Beyond the, the veil, good sign. not the pale. Even though probably Wiener Heaven is pale. Beyond the pale is a thing. Yeah. Well, yeah, but it doesn't not mean the thing the you thing. said. Yeah, it doesn't mean thing. that. But, but Wiener Heaven is probably paler than normal skin heaven. So, what are the Dugs up to? The Dugs are synchronized killing. Yep. It's like it's like Olympic people in a pool up in here. El Elric is half of one kill ahead. Because <laughs> he got, he went through the door first, where Cool got a little bit distracted there. Do you have the concursion music playing, Dan? I do. I do. What what song is this? This is specifically. Um, an Albedo version, and I'm trying to think of where it reminds me. I usually hear it in Albedo. It doesn't matter. It does matter, because I just... I'm happy. It makes me happy. You make me happy, Dave. Are you are you single? Can we get married? So we're off to a good start today. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to talk about the action on, on the, uh, the screen here. Uh, both guys are using up their, their wizard's fire staff uh, without any hesitation. They're confident that they're going to get it again. Of course, facing off against the first boss without it, as we've learned, is run suicide. Right. And so, well, I guess that's the question, is I think we're going to see from both these guys, unlikely that either goes without getting a staff. But um, I think the lesson learned from last week is there's no reason to use it right away. There's no harm in just waiting till you get another staff, you know? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm for that. Weaklings is good. You know why Weaklings is good for Cool? Because Cool hadn't found a staff yet, and Weaklings provides a greater quantity of enemies, albeit in you know weaker numbers. Yes, or rather, technically in weaker strength. So it's more opportunities to get a staff. He had used up his staff. Oh, he had used one. That's yes. bold. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, do you really benefit from using it in room two instead of waiting till you get a duplicate in room three and using it there? I believe. And I mean, you, you can. I mean, it's it's you're killing guys faster. Like, there's no. Yeah. There's no mistake yet, especially if you have a, uh, a but chainsaw. it's a psychological like lead, because you're still sitting on your advantage to be used in a moment. Yeah. But in a room like this, uh -oh. he's not even bothering Oh, to pick cool. Up. Uses it and walks right out with two extra stabs on the ground. Is he not taking Elric seriously? Does he, does he oh, believe that this oh, is in the back? Oh, whoa. No, cool is just being bold and hoping he gets another one before the boss. He's counting on it. And so far, his gamble's paying off. Um. Yeah, I mean, but it's it a, a safe gamble. bet. But it less I would have safe room by room. He's losing I would have opportunities. Up the um, Elric is to the checkpoint room first. Oh jeepers! Yeah, I honestly think uh, these guys—they've become friends. You know, they—they they respect one another and their and their abilities. But I do think that Cool may just be underestimating Elric just a little bit, um, and not maybe pushing it as hard as he really should be, because Elric has become quite formidable. I, I don't know if that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing Elric pull a great game, but I'm not seeing Cool do anything he wouldn't otherwise do. Um, he was just being a little careless with his fire I mean, we've seen, well. like, great motion, economic attacks, you know, proper uh, target choice from Cool, but we have seen and commented most times in the past that his use of magic against boss, uh, you know, an example, in his last match against Galkaif, a little bit of different use there actually would have won him the match. Elric beats Depth 1. Depth 1 down. Yeah, I'm going to refresh Cool. Ooh, I don't believe... We're TLDR music right now. I don't believe that he is actually this far behind. I can't believe it. Four, no, 413 is a strong depth one time. It is, yeah, but, it, I mean, is Elric just... He must have... It's not that strong, actually. Cool's we, we, time is 437. That's a good 20 seconds be, uh, past. It's that's more, what I'm More than about. 20 seconds past. 437 is not a great time for depth one. That's true. Well... And so he needs to start taking Elric seriously. I don't think he's not. 
I think he's saving up all of his um, POW blocks to use in later rooms. Oh, I just noticed in, in chat, I was trying to figure out what happened, and it made me laugh. In Cool's chat, Cool thanked Moobot. For, for <laughs> providing useful feedback, and I swear I, I was just staring at that for a while, like, thanking Moobot? Moobot's not a... is Moobot a purse? Moobot's not a... is he? <laughs> no, Moobot is a bot. Why would Cool take the time to type something in his chat while he's... Uh, uh, I don't think he did it just run. now. I see. Uh, like I said, I've been staring at it, wondering and trying to understand. Elric gets a weakling's room. Um, with some tuba going on. That's a cool combination. Eh, maybe not the... I would prefer tuba with w tough guy, I suppose, but I'll never turn down a tuba. Tuba plus anything is happy times. Yeah, we always see um, if there is any disparity to be had in depth two between gladiators, it's because one of them uses the tuba very well, and the other d maybe does not. <laughs> maybe. Tuba is, makes a huge difference in depth two if you use it properly. Yeah. Mubot be praised. Uh, I gotta say, I think, uh, well, it was cool closing the gap. So th they're just under a room split right now. We saw that Cool took about 20 something seconds longer in Depth 1 to beat it. I, I think he's maintaining the split. We might see uh, what Dave would consider to be an upset. I would consider it to be an upset if Elric were to win. I wonder if. Uh, I mean, Cool is very cognizant of his times. He's more so than maybe any other competitor. He's got spreadsheets. He knows yeah. exactly where everyone is at every given time. He may actually be giving Elric a slight lead so that it, it looks like a better race. Because these guys have really oh, come I to really know. like each other. I don't know if that's wise. No? Oh, it wouldn't be wise to do, certainly. Because Elric is not to be trifled with. Getting some stats from Jamie in the chat. Uh, Current personal bests for Depth 2 show um, Cool with a better PB by about 11 seconds. Let's see if he capitalizes on that experience. Um, yeah, because by all rights, that, that should mean that he and Elric would close Depth 2 at just about the same time. I mean, he, cool is 20 seconds behind Elric right now. <laughs> Elric, Elric saving his progress. <laughs> Locking it down. Infinite. I'm, I'm thinking about that. This is an advanced technique, but here's what I would do with that infinite weapon rune right there. I would get my whip down to almost shattering, then I would pick it up. I wouldn't pick up a new weapon for a while, because the lower your durability, the higher the drop rate means you're going to get more magic. So I wouldn't pick up a new weapon right now. Cool indeed doesn't. Um, wondering if it's intentional or not, but the benefit now is he's got infinite whip and an increased drop rate for everything else that can drop. So definitely infinite weapons exploitable. That is a tip that could be added to the wiki. I think he's going to go for the spear over the bombs. What do you think? Um, yeah. After the whip gives up. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking about it. I would go bombs? I don't know. Whip, spear is always good, too. Spear is the Mario of weapons. Spear wins it. Spar spear is actually the King Koopa of weapons. Elric is in the Jimmy crashed and restarted. Welcome back! We missed you. I missed you. Shield guys, spear guys, and krakens. I feel like I don't see that room all that often. Yeah. Yeah, but they both got it, so maybe I'm I just I'm loving the, the cool one-hit kill shield shots. There's, he's right in that sweet spot of level versus room that, uh, that allows for that, and when you recognize it and choose to keep the shield, you can make such gains with it. Yeah, it's great to see. Uh, Tuba Jesus did not help. <laughs> Did not get a tuba there. Uh, tuba Jesus. Does he know normal Jesus? No, but he's friends with orange Jesus. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, somewhere out there, I want there to be a man named Orin Jesus. Because that always sounds like Orin Jesus sounds like Orin Jesus to me. Okay. I just want Orin Jesus to come. I'm sure there is guy. someone out there with that name. Just as there's someone out there with the name Ken Elric. Ken Elric, in full effect. Speaking of Ken Elric, he was just trying to punch a shield guy down. You can't punch a shield. Yeah. I mean, Quality you can. All toughness. But uh, he was going uh, unarmed for that shield fight. I drew on my hands. I'm a hand star. Why are you doing that? 
because I'm artistic. Double yes. goop for cool. That's the second double goop he's gotten, isn't it? It is. Um, but just in spite of it, he actually has caught up to Elric, and they're in the same room. Um, they entered at roughly the same time. This could be where, uh, if Cool is to take the lead, that he may do so goopy. very shortly. So goopy. Though Elric is pretty fast on the second boss. We're seeing some good shield work from Cool. I like it. We have debated this. Do you use the shield for a movement technique? I do. Yeah, I, I don't, but... I I don't know that you're wrong. Cool has indeed uh, pulled ahead oh, just yes. ever so slightly. Quite a Great bit. Great cracking shots on the boss, and he's bombing him down. Ooh, uh, his bomb shatters right with that last kill, meaning he does enter the next depth without a bomb bag, which would be nice to have. Just a perk. A it's bit. not like he won't pick up a weapon real quick. And Elric cleared the room. Elric does the same thing. The last bomb throw kills the boss before he jumps down. So they get now weapons. listening to the Mini Tours version of the Boss Six song. Uh, mm -hmm. Elric. Melissa from uh, Elric's chats making uh, good strategic advice for Elric. Hit him in the naughty bits. Hit him in the naughty place. Well, he's Where's in the naughty place on trees, though? No, but it's, it's Hellside. He's hitting them all in the naughty place. I see. Sorry, I'm having to refresh, so I don't. I, I see a taco. I wasn't gonna say it, but you were smelling just a bit. Mm -hmm. it's cool with his old yeah. pal, the boomerang. Yeah. Do, doing worthy S damage with stepping it. Stepping right up to the wall for that shorter shot, less refractory period on the catch and turnaround. Essentially showing us how it's done, whereas Elric is stuck with his pea shooter. Mm -hmm. See him uh, unarmed quite a lot in this run. That's not a wiener reference, right? No. His pea shooter. It's not, no matter how much you want it to be. I, I'm not saying I want it to be, I'm not saying I don't, I'm just saying science has spoken. That's what it does, you know. It cool's pees. making this boomerang last. Yeah! Economic action. Keep the boomerang party some, going. Some steam sale boomerang shit going on. Economic. Economical. So he's going to hang on to that banshee head till the next room, of course. I would, yeah. And then just let her loose right now. Take a peek what's in there, yep. But he's going to back up to the door, which is something that Elric does not do. Elric <laughs> walks into the room and lets Time it go. Time for a disco that. party. Um, yep. So Elric is, is not in love with the boomerang the way that Cool is, but he's got one now. Mm hmm. He's, he's going, taking the long approach. And quickly swaps it out for a spear. Um, yeah, Cool has a definitive most of room lead. I don't know if I'm happy about that. I don't, I, I'm not rooting for either of these guys, actually. I don't want either of them to be eliminated. They're both, you know... In fact, every competitor that we've sent to Wiener Heaven, I, I miss them when they're gone. They, yeah. they, they all added something very special to the uh, tournament. To, to the, the big Wiener mix. Yeah. But I mean, per, per, in particular, these two guys, they're, they're kind of... I don't know. I wish we could keep them both. Like, if anybody's at E3 this week, let's just have a big Wiener mixer. Like, let's all just get a drink and have a big Wiener mixer. Are you alright, man? What? I'm serious. Okay. You don't want it? No. Antisocial. Well, this uh, Wiener tournament, the Weaponographist Expeditious Internet Explorer Racing League, um, is comprised of gladiators from across the globe, spanning the entire planet. So uh, I don't even think we have any of them in LA. Actually, Galco no, so. in our time zone, and Imagine 42 is. Um, but the other six competitors are in all different time zones, which has been gloriously fun for me to try to coordinate. The time <laughs> with the You've matches. been a champ, but. I have not said special thanks to Dave yet for, like, aiming at all hours to try to make this tournament work and succeeding. Just doing my job, ma'am. You called me a lady. <laughs> You're a lady. Alright, so, Cool is doing the right thing with these barrels. He's, he's not bothering with the Morningstar. It's, it's kind of a waste of a Morningstar to use it up in this room anyway. 
um, using the barrels constantly will allow you to keep your weapon in test room strong. Yep. And I also it's a right bit move. faster to use the barrels. Mm -hmm. Double goop for Elric. Shit, that's a good advantage to come back. <laughs> for cool, you mean? <laughs> no, I was kidding. Elric just, he, you see it right there on the floor. He's not even picking it up. I, I love watching any of these guys, really, with the bow staff, like using it for speed, but uh, particularly like watching Elric do it because I um, I can remember back to the first couple of times I watched him, saw him play the game, and he was one of those Ooh. people that's like, bow staff, nice nah. The bow staff really is an acquired taste, but once, especially in a speed run, once you figure out how to use it, it's like, it makes such a huge difference in a run. Yeah. I'm in a mood to play with our wiki. I'm gonna do that after this. Yeah, definitely wait till after the match. Oh, yeah. With that. I'm in a mood. I'm in a moo bot. Double goop, dude! Craigasm! I keep sitting down to try to write like a very skeletal um, like s plot sequence for a, a possible new game idea. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, right as Jamie asks about it, actually. Yeah. Any more yeah. Um, I have I have some of it in my head. It's like what we were talking about on Friday. I, I feel like we hit some good major beats. Yep, I was really happy about that one. Do you want to tease it? Or is it too early? Um, I, yeah, sorry. It is too early to, to really talk about it. Uh, this next project, if there is a next project, <laughs> we will be far more transparent than we've ever been before. Um, but absolutely want to nail down the concepts um, before announcing anything about it. Yeah. We don't have a name yet. Let's let's put it that way. We, don't, we haven't come that far. Yeah. Though we do have a little playable prototype. Eh, half playable prototype. <laughs> that's that's fun for us. Yeah. I don't, I don't think anybody else would like to see it. No, it's just... It's half of proof of concept. Yeah. All right, so here, here will be my teaser. You ready? No. Don't, don't worry, it's spoiler free. I don't trust you. Our idea is weird, and we're not 100% sure that it's an idea that makes sense. Cause we we might scrap it all. It. Was it? We might scrap it all. Right, it's it's weird, which is tends to be what interests us most. And so we've got a little bit of a playable prototype that needs to come a little bit further to make sure that brains are capable of doing what we're going to ask. Yeah. <laughs> that, that feels like a reasonable teaser, right? I think it's going to be really fun, but it's going to hinge on whether people have the mental bandwidth to do it. And and I think that I'm finding that it's all right. Bam. Back to the game at hand. Back to the wiener at hand. So dueling banshees. You see what I did there? Ba ba bum 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 bum. <laughs> okay. You changed the rhythm there. I did. In the habit of just experimenting with rhythms. <laughs> what I do. I'm a musicologist. I'm a rhythmomancer. And double po uh, pogo stick action, too. Mm -hmm. But not a mirror match, because look who's ahead. Cool is one room up. Cool is one room up. And it's, a, it's an important room. Just staring me in, right in the eye. So what's he going to walk into this boss with? He's not going to have that pogo stick anymore, which is not necessary, but has become sort of the gold standard for a fast kill. He's going to have a couple of pogo hits. Mm -hmm. No magic. Yeah, it runs out. Does it poop time? Is he going to switch to a Morning Star? Because that's the move. Yep. Nice. Yes. Yep. And the orbit. And you just nearly, take those nearly hits. textbook. At this level of sloppy. upgrade, you just take those hits. A little sloppy. You're a little sloppy. But he's down. And Elric not yet to the boss. Ooh, almost a personal best by Cool. Making good time there. <laughs> Jamie Antics would like a bot for wiener jokes and puns. I'm going to type exclamation point, giant wiener of doom, oh. comma, so look out for that. Did you see that moment of hesitation there? Elric went to go pick up the pogo stick, and he stopped in his tracks and thought, oh, I, get, I got that too early. There's a million weapons in the room. Yeah. Um, no magic for the boss, again, for uh, for Elric, but uh, champion pogo action. The gap is wide. the Morningstar and the orbit, and we're textbook. Yeah. Taking taking some hits. Also a little sloppy, but exactly what Cool did. I see uh, Elric's mouse. Personal best by Elric in that room. I make a comment right there that uh, the gap is widening, but uh, Elric with a personal best. Cool only two seconds off his personal best, though, I suppose. Yeah, I'd say it would be more accurate to say the gap momentarily widened and is now shrinking slightly. Yeah. Um, it must be cool. cold in here. <laughs> cool. 
Cool picked up about a room and a half lead somewhere in depth two, but he is sorry in between depth depths two and three, and he is sort of starting to lose it now. <laughs> Mr. Yonax just pops into chat to ask, "Can we restart? I missed the beginning." <laughs> yes, I saw that. Let's just let's call it. Hold on, now competitors, we're, no, don't believe what I'm about to say. We're done. <laughs> You and I, we were talking about, you were watching some E3, we were talking about, it. I've been playing a fair bit of Ryu today. So Elric, lucky enough to have gotten his hands on a spear in Depth 4, and he's hanging on to it for dear life, with the single poke kills. Made it last for a while, and now it's gone. Mm. And, uh, sorry, that was cool who got the spear, but now Elric is actually lucky in doing the same thing. Indeed. It is nice to get a spear in this depth. Ken Elric, really showing he knows how to Ken up that Elric. I'm really impressed that you remember that. <laughs> I do. Uh, you next. Why was Weapon ne Weaponographist never on E3? Uh, we uh, we're small. <laughs> we don't. We're not on console. We um, are just a small handful of dudes. Um, Actually, I have a better I, answer for that, if you don't mind. Yeah, please. Um, the Weaponographist began development two months after last year's E3. It was done before the next one. Yeah, and this year it actually came out um, about a month and a half before E3. And to your point, Mr. Yonex, of why are we not on E3, I don't know if you're referring to some of the uh, Twitch feeds you've been seeing today. Uh, but we will be at E3 this year with the Weaponographist we on will. Tuesday. And we'll be showing it at the IndieCade space. You know, we're going to have a proper table and playable build. We're, in fact, none of you guys have ever played the build we're going to bring, and it's a fun build. Our we have a convention-only demo. demo that is like a competitive, totally randomized, um, like, it's balanced in an interesting way. It's fast and strong without being easy, and it's um, totally random. It's like Depth 5, but it ends with Chundrosaurus. So some of our, our most uh, diehard fans and uh, friends of the Weaponographist project, we met at uh, these conventions, uh, specifically PAX and, and Res, um, people who played the demo uh, and really, really liked it. And there was a demo contest that we had. It was kind of our, um, I don't know, our trial run to see if people would enjoy speedrunning it, and turns out they do. Mm -hmm. Will it be on stream? Uh, if you mean the official Twitch stream, my bet is that it probably won't, just because, again, we're, we're, we're teeny. But if you want some inside information, we're currently talking to some fine gents about the possibility of porting to console. And um, if and when that happens, then uh, you might get to see a little bit more of us. Is that a little too inside? Should we be talking about that? I mean, there's no harm in saying that we're hoping it happens and trying to make it happen. I think that shouldn't surprise anyone. <laughs> Yeah, I, but, but I would in, like to see in, in case we were too vague, though, we will be at E3 on Tuesday, not just as attendees, but showing our game in the IndieCade space. Yes. So if you're at E3, if you've got a bad, you want to drop by and play our exclusive little build, uh, we will be with IndieCade from 2 to 4 on Tuesday. You went to Res this year. I was at Res this year. Jammy, I was there. If you went, so it was like the weird dock space, right? Which was super cool, but also super weird. Um, you walk in upstairs on the left. Um, I was literally with the weaponographist booth. Um, you walk right into it. You walk into the door in, in I think they call it the indie room. And um, we were just the ones right in front of the door uh, next to um, Kitty Powers, which is um, a dating sim uh, created by a very kind gent named Rich, who is also a drag queen and was in full, uh, I don't know if character's the right word, I don't mean to be offensive, but he was there, so a hard, hard to miss guy. Regalia? Um, next in Regalia. And next to some gents with a build from Oculus Rift. So um, you probably saw me in person, but didn't know me yet. You guys probably brushed up against each other on the escalator. I try knowing. to brush up against as many people as I can. I find that in a public space, people generally appreciate it. It makes them feel loved. Uh, I just had a flashback to conventions. Good news, we get to do it again on Tuesday. All the smells. <laughs> I'm, I like it. <laughs> do you? Do, okay, do you actually like do. convention smells? Of course it's I do. It's different. It's there's a difference between you tolerate them because of all the other fun stuff, and you like the smells. You actually I'm, like them. Elric stream is having a little bit of diarrhea, so I might throw a refresh. <laughs> okay. It's been eating Taco Bell. And that's one drink you owe me. I didn't see a commercial for it yet. Um, 
I'm gonna check your stream if it is showing. I hope it doesn't. You you hear my voice having come before it. Yeah, I don't have the audio. So apologies to anybody who's now watching commercials on the stream. It's definitely tacos for me. Oh god, I do want to know now, Jimmy. It seems like you have a story. I'm dying to know. Jimmy's response is simply, "Oh, me and Kitty Powers. You don't want to know what I've done with that game. I really do now." Maybe and I you want to tell Rich. For it. And I want to tell Rich whatever you've done. Whatever terrible things you've done, I want to tell Rich. Wow. Um, oh I no, am... I refreshed my own chat. And I missed it. Cold yeah. but nice. Something is cold but nice. I didn't see what came before that. I'm looking at your stream and it's um. I don't. It's okay. It's back. Good stuff. And we're back. So, uh, what are our dugs doing? One of the dugs has a morning star, and one of the dugs has a fire dick. <laughs> Do go on. <laughs> so, Cool is rocking the wyvern head, and he is using it fearlessly. Um, he just switched up pretty seamlessly into the morning star, which is using Question for you. What more dick kills. What number are both the gents in as you're watching? They are in 11 and 12, respectively. Elric in 11, and Cool in 12. Okay. Cool. Yes, yeah, so I'm ahead of you, not behind you. Good. Okay. Uh,. Oh, Tobacco Dog was awesome. Yeah, EGX Res this year in London was held at a place called Tobacco Dog, and it was the coolest space. It was like a plaza, and it had upstairs. And it was like a labyrinth. It was all the rooms. Instead of having one big convention hall, it was like a ton of small meeting rooms. That hall had the doors between them opened up, and each room kind of had a theme. It was, it was the coolest space. Very cool. Elric just enters room 14, widening the gap ahead of Elric, rather cool, enters room 14, um, to at least a one-room gap. I think we're looking at the better part of a two-room gap right now. Yep, and so will Elric have any opportunity to make this time up? I think he will. I, I, in my mind, this is... it's past the halfway point. It's... I would say we're 60% of the way through the run, but that still leaves a lot of space left. Um, seems like you never started your timer. Um, well, now I did. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Alright, because I so, just uh, these usually... So are going to win in like 15 minutes. <laughs> usually when we get to, run yet. to the point where you say you think we're at halfway, I look at your timer and I see if we are or not. Um, so that's my bad. I should have called that way earlier. <laughs> so, I mean, it's amazing, I'm going to say, like truly amazing, that these guys are at the one minute point and already <laughs> halfway through depth four. And it's hammer time. Hammer and time, it's hammer not, time, it's hammer, hammer time for cool Hammer time, hammer time, hammer time. Wendolf Pumbledore. So Cool's I, already about to start the fourth boss. He's gotten here pretty quickly. Yeah. I, w I wonder what the official game clock was at. It was at zero. Right, so fastest ever. Yeah. Jeez. These guys. Alright, that's what I like to see. Cool, going nuts with the punch gloves. Just punching the hell out of everybody. Yeah. Everyone's gonna die. Because he knows, like, everyone who's gotten to this boss enough times knows. I'm getting a unicorn horn in the next room. Right. So, I don't like, need to worry about it. It doesn't matter. Just use whatever weapon you feel like in this room. He's got his Kraken head saved up. Goes for the bow. Okay. Yeah, sure. Bow's right. good. Yeah, the nice bow has a higher DPS than the unicorn horn. That's absolutely the right call, and I've never Harder to aim, it. though. Yeah, but it, its in DPS fact, is significantly higher. It's the right call, and no one has done it till now. Because of the aim issue, but he made perfect aim on every shot and made great use of the bow that was and great. up extra time. That, that is new technology that's going into future races <laughs> for anybody who is watching or rewatches. That is new technology right there. Um, yeah, um, well it's there's some luck involved in it too. You don't always get bows in that room before the boss, but having a bow on the boss and being able to aim it properly is definitely an advantage over mm. you. That, he killed it. He killed Murdercutioner so fast that the fire trail technique didn't apply. Oh, also, but he had the the Kraken head to start anyway. Yeah, I mean, but so the the, the Murdercutioner didn't come down. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. The, so the the fire trail was just does not apply. Let's see what Elric does. He's starting with the hammer. He can't be happy about that. He's hoping for a unicorn horn. Not going to get one. His hammer durability's way too high. He's got one now. 
Uh, he's hanging onto the fire Part trail. Of me would wait for him to get into fire blast. Eh, it's not it's worth it. It's not fire worth trail. it. Fire trail. Oh, oh, switched it up. Fire trail. Um, not a perfect kill. Yeah, no, he actually could have gotten a few more fire ticks in there. But great recovery and boss is down. So, oh, uh, cool is already almost three rooms into uh, depth five at this point. Elric's gonna have his work cut out for him. I guess that was a bit of an overstatement. Cool still hasn't cleared the second room. <laughs> cool, 17 rooms in the lead. If you well, count I thought, a grace period, including 15 rooms. I thought he was farther into the room than he was. But now he's cleared it. <clears throat> so actually, it's strange but true. Elric um, really excels in any room divisible by seven. Is that true? No, that's actually true. We've talked about that at great length, and I. Um, something about the number, it just it gives him strength. And strength. Alright, well, there are two of those in this deck, so look out for that. Well, no, it's actually lifetime divisible by seven. Cool got uh, Elric's favorite room, the quote-unquote Rainbows and Hugs room. Where the best strategy here is to grab a fire staff and run around with the fire circle around you, blowing up unicorns at point-blank range. Mm. Uh, cool. Jamie, rather, sharing some stats from chat again. Uh, the Depth 5 personal best currently stand at Cool having uh, slightly better than a minute faster Depth 5 time currently. So, uh, you know, I don't know how routinely, how consistently he Cool makes such a powerful time, which is 1240, by the way. But well, um, if Elric can't improve his best, he's in some trouble. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen Elric pull 1240 on this depth. That's that's a really impressive time. Yep. Um, but I don't know how consistent, like you said, Cole is with that with that time. Though the last time he uh, raced competitively was against Galkaif, and he lost by three seconds. That is what I like about full run best times. Is that is the truest, or it is a truer test of consistency. You know, having a great depth requires pl great play, but you know, there's a greater luck component on it than being able to streak and chain together five great depths. Yeah, and actually, some of I, I'm always shocked when I hear that people uh, who are getting the best times on the leaderboards don't do it with the use of checkpoints. It just that's just crazy to me. I would think oh, I you get to the checkpoint with your best possible, you know, start of the run to checkpoint time, and then you hang on to that and you build from right. that. But, they're, but they're always starting. Over. But your best ever time is going to be that. Like, the best theoretical time is going to be the one where you don't bother to run over to the checkpoint. So already, by I see what you're saying, and for for the short, middle, and long term, it's a good strategy. But for the longest of terms, it's a terrible strategy, because you'll never have a perfect run if you run to the checkpoint. You know what I mean? Like you'll I do, You'll be able to chain together an amazing great, an amazing and an amazing beginning, but you'll have stitched them together with just like a second's worth of loss. But if you get to the checkpoint before any given boss, and you know that you've had a really great run, like you can feel it, you can see the time, and you're you're aware of mm -hmm. where you usually are. Definitely do take just stop and save because you can you can pick up from there and you can book but, it to the boss. But the best time you'll ever get using that save point is worse than the best time you might have gotten had you not used it. Um, but is that really worth risking? Because the boss is question when it comes to world record, right? I mean, what if you what if you get to uh, boss four and you've got like cool digits there the bow and arrow and the um what do you have the kraken head right oh yeah you can chain together an amazing end with an amazing end. beginning but it's not as good as naturally getting them together and, and that's what i mean long medium and rather short medium and long-term strategy use the checkpoint but the longest of strategies world record level i gotta think you don't use it or, or you're precluding yourself from being just perfect so you're saying just the simple act of saving wrecks the run only by a second, but that's one second less perfect than you could have been. Cool's invincible in real life and in his run right now. In a tuba and unicorn room, that is a really nice way to just pick up some time. So well, while we're sharing facts about the competitors, actually, Cool and I were speaking before, did you know that when Cool focuses really hard, his uh, skin actually turns into a biometallic substance that cannot be pierced, be pierced by any weapon? Uh, I'm just going to say I didn't know that. Yeah, no, I know, yeah. but it's true. 
like you said, cool is invincible. Yeah. Well, I was joking. Because the thing you said is crazy. But it's true. I mean, that's what makes it so crazy. Yeah, if I had that ability, I'd be like robbing banks and stuff. I wouldn't be playing video games. You'd be Batman. Batman. <laughs> Batman should rob banks, too. He's kind of doing it wrong. I keep, but Batman's Bruce Wayne! Oh, God, I said it out loud. He's Dude, gonna I be don't... really pissed. He's gonna be really pissed that I outed that secret. I'm just thinking about what I just said. I would never rob a bank because where are you gonna put the money afterwards? In your giant Scrooge McDuckian cartoon no. vault. You wanna put it in the bank, but the bank's not gonna trust you anymore. <laughs> or they're gonna give you great interest so that you keep the money in the bank this time. No, I don't know. Robbing a bank is no good. There's just no way to win. Galkaif. Hello, Galkaif. Here, here to learn who your uh, next competitor is going to be, uh, but indeed, yeah, he's studying their version moves. of what I was saying, checkpoints are not going to help you with an all-depth run. Yeah, they're not, but taking the time to, um, even if it's just a few seconds, there are a few milliseconds to actually just run past a, ch a checkpoint and, and quickly hit yes on it, like, would help you resume from there later if you wanted to... If you knew that you had a great time up until that point, you might want to preserve it. Hmm. So we have, what do we have? Ten rooms left and a two-room split right now. Mr. Yonax says that this is a done deal. It's clear to Mr. Yonax that Cool is definitely going to win. I'd say to Mr. Yonax, nothing is certain. Except uh, certainty itself. Well, with Billion May Disappear, uh, Cool's um, computer could restart <laughs> itself. I mean, anything goes. Anything could happen. I, I didn't think it would be this decisive on looking at anybody who's just showing up. Uh, Elric had the lead after the end of Death One, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, he did. And, and I, I and felt so at the time and still do feel a little more that devastating because Elric had a meaningful lead at the end of Death One. I think Cool gave it to him. I do because it's. I think that maybe it was subconscious, but the way that we see Cool playing right now, like he's he's very 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 fast. So to think that he would have a time of 4.37 on depth one when every other time I've seen him on depth one in the last like month and a half, it's been, you know, between 4.09 and like 4.15, maybe even, actually I've seen him get some like 4.03s, like that was not a good depth time, depth, depth one time for cool. Right. Well, so, so I say this to all of Elric's fans, if you are a true Elric fan, if you love Ken Elric with all your heart, <laughs> go to Cool's house and flick him in the ears, <laughs> just find out where he lives and just flick him. People hate that. I mean, I'm not. That's I'm cheating. not accusing Cool of like throwing the match. I think it was maybe subconscious, or maybe he just didn't have no, his head. I think it yet. was just the way the depth played out. Yeah. But Elric, on the other hand, is busting his ass trying to catch Cool at this point. Yeah, I don't know if he. We knows have that almost he's exactly ahead. a two-room split right now. Um, but I don't know. I don't think we've ever seen a depth five like comeback from Elric. He's usually ahead. When it's, he wins, while that's right. true, we have seen them. Yeah, we've we, seen them. We saw happen. Cool make a huge depth five comeback against Galkai. If he didn't end up winning, but it was a huge swing back in his direction. And I'm gonna harken back to that's because, in part, Galkai made a very critical error in that run, which didn't it didn't ruin it for him, but it actually slowed him down a bit. I think. All right, I'll play your game. Your game's Weaponographist, right? Yeah, I'll play it. It's that same game. So what can Elric do here? What does he need? He needs he needs a double damage rune and a tough double guy. damage rune on Billion would be great. Of course, that would yeah. Be ideal. But how can like I'm trying to figure out how he could get to Billion at the same time as Cool. Um, I mean, there's a lot of things he could get luckier with Banshees. He's gotten God seven, eight Banshees in this run, and they only become possible from from depth three, right? Doing great tuba work. Yeah, I mean, more magic. Just generally can catch him. There are enough rooms left that gaining a half room each room, which we see routinely happen, half room swings. If he can pull that a few times in a row, he can come back. It's just got to happen right now. Yep. He's got to turn on the afterburners. Kick it into overdrive. He's got to drop the nitro. I mean, it's less than a two room gap now, right? No, it's greater. Yeah. The gap's mm -hmm. getting worse. I'm a d big dumb butt who's as dumb as a butt. I don't know about that pogo stick choice right now. I would go yo-yo right now on Elric. I would go yo-yo, but that's just personal preference. Um, he's using the pogo stick 
because it's really enticing to destroy the enemy projectiles, I think. Um, <laughs> oh, that was interesting. Punching a, um, a barrel gub into an enemy to kill him. <laughs> barrel gub really flies. I like uh, Galkaif defending himself uh, vigorously. Uh, I did make a rather large mistake. But I fixed it, and I, now I ended up getting an 11.52 on depth 5 on my last run. Yeah, Galkaif, no one's saying that you're not, like, outstanding. You are. Um, you were saying it. Before, Galkaif, before you showed up, no, he was saying no, no. he thinks that you're a bum. No, I think I think he respects that, um... <laughs> I'm just giving Dave shit. No, that, like, legit strategies are being discussed. And uh, he was—he was actually the first person to say, "Like, why did I hang on to that magic for so long in that other one?" I wonder, Galkev, did you see the depth five beat by cool today? I feel like that was new technology discovered, and it, it may be the new best practice. You're talking about depth four. Depth four. I'm sorry. Yes, bringing uh, the bow instead of a unicorn horn into Murdercutioner fight allowed cool to kill Murdercutioner before he even came close. His fire trail he hang on to became irrelevant because the DPS of the bow is so much higher than the unicorn horn. I saw um, Galkaif actually comment on that at the time ah. uh, in our chat, and he said that he never gets a bow. Yeah, and, and the bow is pretty rare before that fight. One uh, room away from Billiam. I, I agree with Cool's move here. I would not hang on to the Banshee head for Billiam himself. Yeah, it's no, it's not great for Billiam, but it's it's great to clear this room. Mm -hmm. Although these are the fire strongest enemies in the whole game. Yeah, fire staff would be good. Is there a chance for that? Oh uh, yeah, he just killed a fire wizard. It didn't drop. Um, Isn't... at best he's gonna get two more chances. Pull my attention back to Elric for a moment before the Billiam fight starts. Um, yeah, the gap is widening, but Elric is looking strong. Elric does not look daunted. Uh, we, as we know, a lot of the time the competitors have no idea where their opponent actually is in the race. Billiam is on the scene. Uh, no magic yet for this fight. Indeed, so it's he does come out down magic free. Um, paying most of. I would his say he hasn't gotten Billiam, a good but... boss magic in a while though. It's a really good actually balance there of enemy kills to Billiam attention. He's doing all the right things. Yep, talked about it before, but it's not worth speed wise trying to go for a level 11 in the normal difficulty boss fight. Better to just keep your level 10. Do whatever you need to do to keep your level 10. Don't worry about your combo too much aside from just keeping 10. So after having seen so many people pull it off uh, sort of by happenstance, is Cool going to attempt to crush Billiam down with the hammer before Billiam can disappear? I, I don't think he'll have the chance anymore. This next attack that Billiam pulls is definitely going to be the disappear, unavoidably. Yeah. Looks like a disappear. He's gone. That's 20 seconds. <laughs> Alright. Meanwhile, uh, Elric's still in room 18. It seems very likely that Elric will not have uh, made it to Billiam by the time that Cool defeats him. Yeah, it does seem like this is a uh, Cool's game to give away at the moment. And will he give it away, or will he end Billiam here? Ba boom! Looks like Billiam's done. Cool. And taking, Cool wins. Taking the losers tournament, coming out of, coming out of losers and back into the main bracket. The one man entitled to do so, the man, the legend, the myth, Cool, facing Galkaif in the finals. In what is going to be a difficult matchup, so he Cool is going to have to beat Galkaif two times to take the title. That is, that's strong. Jamie has him at 4107. Hmm. It's a very very strong time. Um, Galkaif told me that he cracked. Uh, oh, actually, sorry. Well, no, both of them. Elric told me he cracked 40 minutes for a run today, but he had jinxes on. Galkaif has gotten below 40 minutes on a full run, I think, mm -hmm. which is just unspeakable. Uh, but yeah, so Cool has managed to, to scrap his way out of the not the other winners tournament, the, the secondary, the other winners, winners bracket, and is now back, back uh, in the winners winners. Although, it it does need to be repeated. Uh, cool Galkaif, the rematch is going to happen. If Cool defeats Galkaif in this rematch, he will have to do so twice. twice. He's gonna have to go for the full run back. And the reason for this is that this is a double elimination tournament, and Galkaif has not been defeated ever. So he'll have to be defeated twice if he wants to lose. I find it a reasonable assumption that Galkaif has never been beaten at anything. <laughs> I don't know him that well, but that sounds insane. <laughs> From the age of three, Galkaif has never lost, be it a Little League baseball, be it, um, you know, rock, paper, scissors, to the smallest level. 
that game where you're on a long road trip and you pretend like the speck on the window, like the dirt on the window is going above and beyond background scenery, above and below, he's never missed. Elric with <laughs> Billiam most of the way dead. Good time to use the fire ring. When, yeah, when is Billiam he going to get him for the disappear? Laser, he might. Yes, I bet yes on this one. It's super that close. Now he got knocked away. That's timing to use the fire ring when you know that um, Billiam's mm. not going to teleport away. He is though. In his momentary He's not right now. butt moment. Well, yeah, but he got to use uh, his full fire. Oh, he lucky sand. What the what? Boom! And our castle. Nice. All right, let's call these guys. Let's invite these two gentlemen to the call. I am pushing buttons to invite people to the call and filling airspace with sounds that are relevant to my action. That song sucks. You suck. You suck like two butts with a butt. <laughs> Hey guys! Hello. Hello. Welcome! Hey, how's Hello. it going? Do you guys know? Should we prolong the suspense? Do you know? I don't I know. No... I have a feeling though because I looked at my time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, cool, cool did take it. Cool took it. I had it. a feeling. Over the course of Death 5, he made a, a fairly meaningful uh, comeback. You were uh, ahead at the end of Depth 1, Elric, and actually also through the beginning of Depth 2. And a uh, cool mounted a slow but meaningful comeback throughout the rest of the race. My death one was terrible. You should have seen that. I I was screwing up everywhere. <laughs> what Even I knew it as well. Yeah, I, I understand. I thought I was actually behind the entire run, and my death five was pretty bad. I was off like uh by a minute. Yeah. Well, it was a valiant oh. effort. It was. It was. Well he was a tough competitor. Officially, Elric third place in the Big Wiener tournament. But you know what this means, Cool. It means you have to win, right? Because anytime you vanquish somebody, you have to at least, mm -hmm. you know, murder the person that you're going against next, just so that the person feels a little bit better about themselves. Right. But you, Elric, you never want your the point. person who beat you to lose. But, exactly. But yeah, yeah you want to be beat by the best, right? Galkai mm. defeated Cool before, so to your logic, Galkai would have to defeat Cool again. To vanquish someone, I wasn't listening. I'm sorry. What? I got it. I got it wrong. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> cool has to be Galkai for Cool and for Elric. Right. That's right. I got it all backwards. Yep. You got it now. There, I'm, I'm adding. <laughs> so are you excited? You're gonna be number one, Cool. You're gonna be the best in the world. Galkai well, is, uh, is just gonna fall and fold under pressure, and he's gonna lose two matches uh, right in a row. And. Uh, <laughs> So cool. Are you aware? Are you aware that that's uh, the condition that, uh, in order to defeat Galkov, you'll actually have to defeat him twice because he'll have to. Yeah, pretty everyone much. has it's, to lose twice to be eliminated. Very difficult. Gonna be a very difficult challenge. My form has been super patchy lately. I mean, I actually didn't practice much after my match with Galkov, so eh, I'm only just getting back into it. But you, ne you nearly beat him that day, so it, yeah. it can be done. Oh, I believe in you. Twice. I believe in you, cool. <laughs> Oh, I, I don't think it's... Thanks, guys. I think it's anybody's matchup, truly. I do, too. It's going to be exciting. Oh, my. But I'm, I'm really sad, though, because Elric is going to Wiener Heaven now, and I should be happy for him because he gets to hang out with... Yeah, Elric Magic is always a good place. Too. Very phenomenal Swift competitor. Though. Yes, indeed. I'm just going to be in Heaven, playing with my Wiener, watching Cool defeat Galkaif. I hope so, too. So, Ken, I'm... Ken, I called Ken. <laughs> Elric, I know, I, I'm just call me Ken. I'm slandering you on on stream. If, if you're looking at yes, I like the underscore. That was yeah, the, that took that effort. Was That's a, nice a separate, separate text tag. <laughs> well done, well done. Not Ken. Okay. Not Ken. Not Ken. <laughs> it's not quite as impressive as the GG Elric. Yeah, that but, was uh, good. Yeah, that was the best. That was really good. So, Elric, what are you going to do? What's going to be your first action in Wiener Heaven? Uh, I don't know. I'm probably going to buy somebody Wiener or uh, Weaponographist. I was going to say Wienerographist. <laughs> Either one. Apparently, that's, that that's not almost, a game yet. Yeah, that was almost it's, the formal title, the Wienerographist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I got caught up in the tournament. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, thank you for, thank you for competing. It's been a ton of fun watching, and I will continue to watch, but, but alas, for this tournament, the time is over. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Thanks for hosting the tournament. Thank you for playing. 
Congratulations um, again, cool. And if your work cut you. out for you, I believe you can do it. Yeah, I, I know. Thanks for the support, I guess. <laughs>